Now take a look at exercise 12.16 on page 7.11. Could be a lucky page number for you uh, craps players out there. Or maybe it's uh, just your favorite convenience store. But anyway, page 7.11, exercise 12.16. Here you guys, we're going to compare uh, handling an in the journal entries for an investment if it's treated as available for sale securities or if it's treated as the uh, investor having significant influence over the investee whether they own 20 to 49 percent or have significant influence or both uh, and it's uh, then handled using the equity method so we're going to compare uh, available for sale securities how we would handle those normally with no significant influence over the investee or how we would handle it using the equity method if there is significant influence. So let's read through it. As a long-term investment, Painter's Equipment Company purchased 20% of AMC Supply Incorporated's 400,000 shares for $480,000 at the beginning of the fiscal year of both companies. The 20% to me would normally indicate significant influence. They're going to get us to go through the journal entries both ways here. On the purchase date, the fair value and book value of AMC's net assets were equal. During the year, AMC earned net income of $250,000 and distributed cash dividends of $0.25 cents per share. At year end, the fair value of the shares is $505,000. Okay, number one, assuming no significant influence was acquired, prepare the appropriate journal entries from the purchase through the end of the year. Okay, if there's no significant influence, I'm going to write that in here. No significant influence. Then here's how we would handle it. Okay, there's no significant influence. We'll treat it as available for sale securities. So on our first entry, we would debit investment in AMC I believe that's what it was shares but let's make that read investment in AMC common shares And they were purchased for four hundred and eighty thousand dollars. The credit, of course, would be the cash. Okay, then for net income earned by AMC Corporation. No entry is required. Okay, then for the dividends, we'll debit cash. Okay, how much, uh, how many dividends were declared? Well, they had 400,000 shares. Dividends declared were 25 cents per share. So it equals 400,000 times 0.25 and I think that's going to come out to a hundred thousand and that hundred thousand is correct but let's read that again it says they purchased 20 percent of the 400,000 shares okay well 400,000 shares a quarter per share but our, but painters equipment company only owns 20 percent of the shares so we're going to have to multiply that by 0.2 to get their amount of dividends and then we're going to credit investment revenue. For 20,000 again. Let's show how we did it. There were 400,000 shares in total. Times the 25% of the shares. Purchased by Painter's Equipment Company. Or excuse me. Times uh, 25 cents dividends per share times the 20% of the shares purchased by Painter. 
Ah, let me try that again. Painters purchased 20% of the 400,000 shares. So 400,000 times 0.2. And then dividends per share that they own were 25 cents. So it gets us to 20,000. There's our entry for the dividends. Then we need to make a fair value adjustment entry. Well, what happened? Uh, the fair value of the shares is 505000 up from four eighty, So that's a $25,000 unrealized gain. So we're going to debit fair value adjustment for $505,000. Minus 480,000. That's 25,000. The amount of the fair value adjustment, and that's going to be an unrealized gain. Account will credit is unrealized holding gains and losses dash OCI, which stands for other comprehensive income. Remember, those unrealized holding gains or losses are a part of other comprehensive income when we're dealing with available for sale securities. And the amount of that unrealized gain was the 505,000 minus the 480,000 or 25. So that's how we would handle it if there's no significant influence. This is actually number one or requirement one. Now let's come down and do requirement two. Significant Okay, when that's the case, we're going to use the equity method. Okay, that changes it up a little bit. And that's instruction two. The entry for the purchase remains the same. So we would debit investment in AMC common shares and credit cash for $480,000 under both methods. Okay, now, when the uh, company that we have significant influence over earns net income, that's going to affect us. Increase the balance in our investment account for our share of net income. So we're going to debit investment in AMC common shares for how much net income did they earn? 250,000 we own 20% so it's equal to 250,000 times 0.2 or 50,000 is our share and our credit will be to investment revenue Fifty thousand. Okay, so when we have significant influence over the company that we own shares in, it's usually twenty to forty-nine percent. When they earn net income, that increases the balance of our investment account, kind of like retained earnings would be increased by net income. And then when the company pays a dividend, well, that's going to increase our cash. How much of a dividend did they declare? 25 cents per share. So it's equal to the 400,000 total shares times the 20% purchased by painters times the 25 cent dividend or 20,000. But just like, it kind of works like retained earnings here too, it's going to decrease our investment account. value adjustment or the uh, adjustment to fair value at the end of the year. No 
entry is required to adjust to fair value. Okay, so this one, part two, is the equity method. Part one is, and we would only use the equity method if the investor has significant influence over the investee. If no significant influence exists, we'll treat it as available for sale securities normally. And the same set of entries would look like this. Now on the equity method, I kind of like to think of the investment account similar to retained earnings. It's increased for net income, decreased for dividends. Okay, you guys, after working that one with me, I don't think you'll have any trouble with E12-16 on Connect Plus. If you do, please let me know. Thanks.